Facebook shares are sliding today as the Washington Post reports multiple federal agencies, including the FBI, the SEC, and the Federal Trade Commission, have joined the Department of Justice's investigation into the social media giant's handling of the Cambridge Analytica scandal. Facebook telling CNBC it's, quote, cooperating with officials in the U.S., U.K., and beyond. We've provided public testimony, answered questions, and pledged to continue our assistance as their work continues. Our next guest is a Facebook shareholder and has been calling for changes to the corporate governance and voting structure for more than a year now, specifically pushing for the company to nominate new independent directors to the board and to separate the chairman and CEO positions. And joining us now, here he is, Illinois State Treasurer Michael Frerix. Uh, uh, Hi, Mike. Michael, Hi, nice Michelle. to have you here. Um, so your fund is a shareholder in Facebook, and as a general principle, you put forward these ideas that governance should be uh, changed, essentially have less control in the hands of Mark Zuckerberg, or is it in response to the behavior, uh, as we now know it, of, uh, of Facebook with regard to user data? Now, we've been consistent with other companies as well, whether it be uh, Cardinal Health, McKesson, Wells Fargo, we believe it's a good practice of corporate governance to separate the CEO and the chairman of the board. We think that it's good to have independent directors. And we're also very leery of uh, shareholder voting that gives all the votes to the owner. So, so why do you own it then? I mean, you knew it when you, did you, do you make the choice or are you in charge of a committee that decides? Are you literally the chief investment officer says we're gonna own this much Facebook or is it by default other, you, you farm it out to different organizations and hence you own it? Yeah, we, we use other investment managers out there. But we wanna make okay. sure that Facebook remains a good long-term investment. We think there are good fundamentals with Facebook. But if you look at the constant drip, drip of news out there, culminating to yesterday in news that expansion of investigations by the Justice Department, the SEC, the FTC, and the FBI, we realize there's some real problems here that we'd like Facebook to get out in front of. We think by making Which changes to the corporate back governance, to my they can do that. Question, then, my original question is, why do you own it then? I mean, tell your investment managers you don't like the fact that Mark Zuckerberg controls the whole company with his voting shares, then don't own it. Well, well, we, we try to take an approach of divestment of companies. We think, as I said, that there are some strong fundamentals there, but we can improve. Facebook can improve. And that will be good for our investors, for our investments in the company. If they get ahead of this, they make some changes, we think it's still a strong investment. Have you also, um, I mean, I see here that you also own Alphabet. Now, there's a company that has also worked to try and maintain the founder's uh, sway over the voting rights uh, and things like that. Uh, Snap as well, right? So, so in other words, this is something that seems like this generation of technology companies is kind of run this way for better or worse. Um, have you actually had any uh, kind of uptake of your point by Facebook? Obviously, there's formal means that you're pursuing to try and get some of these changes through. Yeah, we are working as part of a shareholder process to make changes. Uh, we have been writing letters, uh, been in communication, but recently, as recently about a month or so ago, they told us they were in a quiet period, so couldn't be in discussions with us. But this is the same thing we did with Wells Fargo, with uh, drug distributors, and we have participated in the sharehold, shareholder process with Alphabet as well. We just think this makes sense. More transparency, more accountability in these companies, and more independence. How long have you owned it? Oh, we, we've been sharehold, uh, shareholders in Facebook for several years now. We've seen good growth in the company. But as I said, you've seen over the last couple of years here, all kinds of scandals, whether it be fake news, selling uh, uh, user information to Cambridge Analytica. Uh, eventually, these pile up. And what you see is Facebook users decreasing their amount of time on Facebook. That's going to result in less ad revenue. We want Facebook to get ahead of this. Even Mark Zuckerberg has admitted that it's going, things are going to change for Facebook, that it's not going to remain the monopoly it has been much longer. And we think we want to see them take proactive steps to maintain their profitability. It so is, you're ahead. making the case implicitly that um, the control and the corporate structure is directly related to, you know, the, whether it was the non-disclosure uh, of some of the, the privacy breaches that we now know about, or it, yeah, I guess trying to kind of reconstruct how things might have been different if, in fact, there was more independent representation on the board and other things. Yeah, right now, Mark Zuckerberg controls that company. It clearly hasn't been working as of late. He has grown a tremendous company over time. But once reached a certain size here, we think that you should have more independent directors on the board, people 
with expertise in privacy and data, and we think that would potentially have helped avoid some of these pitfalls. What if he keeps ignoring, it, ignoring you? Well, we're going to keep communicating. We're going to keep reaching out to other investors. You know, we've worked with the state of New York. We reach out to other institutional investors and hoping to build a consensus here and to make some change. Because as I said, this is a company that's had explosive growth. But we think now is the time to bring in some other voices. We think that more representation, more independence will be better for the company in the long run. Yeah, I guess my point is that at some point, if your requests don't actually turn into anything, I mean, at some point, if Facebook's ever going to change, if Mark Zuckerberg is going to change this, it's going to be because he believes, wow, it's really hurting the share point, the share price at this point, that we are having investors leave because they do not like the structure. I mean, at what point do you draw a line in the sand and say, enough is enough, we're going to sell these shares because we are unhappy with the governance as we see it? Yeah, I'd say we're constantly evaluating. We've seen other stock pickers actually dumping their Facebook stock. We've not reached that point yet, but we're constantly looking at news. We're constantly checking third-party uh, uh, researchers, and we will make a decision uh, sometime in the future. What do you think uh, Zuckerberg's next step is? Obviously short of rejiggering all the structure, but in response to some of these uh, new news of this widened inquiry, what should he be doing right now uh, beyond what he's already done in terms of testimony uh, to Congress and things like that? Well, I think the answer is more transparency. You know, a lot of the reasons there's uncertainty here is because they've been a very closed company. When we've reached out trying to get more information, you know, we've been met with stonewalls. You know, it's, we'll keep knocking on that door. We'll keep trying to get in and get more information because we do think that with the, if there is more transparency, more disclosure, that will be beneficial for the company. But our patience will eventually reach a limit. All right. Michael Ferricks, thank you very much for laying it out. Illinois, Illinois State right. Treasurer. And you saw their Facebook shares down about 2% today. Hey there. Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.